there were several moments of frustration. Hmm. I couldn't confide in anyone at that time because it was my decision. Hmm. But I think sometime around the uh, second or third year of my practice, I had the chance to argue a somewhat difficult civil appeal before a bench of Justice Untwalia, Justice B. N. Agarwal's father, yeah. and Justice Kailasam. Mm. And um, they appreciated my performance mm. and complimented me in the judgment. Mm. So I think that was the first formal recognition which made me feel that yes, I was on the right track and that I was, I did have a future as an arguing advocate. And then a year or two later, I was appearing in a public interest litigation about the plight of under trials in Bihar. And Justice Bhagwati expressed his appreciation. And that was again a major boost. In those early years, and I think many others of my generation would also feel the same way, judges like Krishna Iyer, Chandrachud, Bhagwati, Chinnaparedi were very encouraging of young lawyers. And uh, I think many of us who are senior counsel today owe our growth in, our, in the profession to the encouragement given by those great judges. So, um, do you think, uh, in a sense, that uh, this practice is lacking today of uh, judges encouraging the junior bar? I wouldn't say it is not there, but it is not as visibly there as it was in those days. Of course, it was a much smaller court. The bar was smaller. But I do think that judges should make an extra effort to encourage the junior bar, which doesn't mean that every junior should be praised irrespective of the quality of his performance. Judges should be hard taskmasters. Juniors must give off their best. But when they do, juniors should have the confidence that someone there would be noticing them. <laughs>